Welcome back to another sunrise yoga class to open your body and mind. Let's get started with some breath work. We're being gentle with our bodies right now. Take a deep inhale, look up to the sky. Slow exhale, move into your forward fold. Another deep breath in, reaching arms up, and exhale, forward fold. During these breath exercises, it's important to remember your posture. Shoulders are relaxed, pressed away from your ears. Neck is long, arms are reaching, spine is strong. Hold your inhale, clasp your hands together, keeping your core strong. Slightly bend backward, face to the sky, exhale and smile. Slowly come back to center, bring your arms down and clasp your hands again, this time at your lower back and bend into forward fold. Reaching your arms forward, Take your forehead to knees. Taking deep breaths, letting your rib cage expand and bending from the hip. Keep the pressure off your lumbar spine. Rise, bend your knees to help support your upper body and release your hands. Deep inhale, arms reaching up and fold one more time down, forehead to knees. Grab your ankles or your knees. Straighten, lengthen your back, and walk out your fold for a soft hamstring stretch. Remember to breathe through this fold. Use your quadriceps to help straighten your legs. Ground your hands and bend your knees. Become as small as possible, curling into a ball before bursting into a long and strong plank posture. Hold your plank, press your heels back, and give a slight bend in your elbows. Breathe in, chaturanga into cobra. Hold, upper body lifted, heart is forward and open, Close your eyes and embrace this pose for just a moment. Now push your hips back into down dog. Give your hamstrings a deep stretch by pressing your heels to the mat. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Welcome inner peace through this pose. Opening up your mind, clearing out your thoughts, this is the calm before your day, so embrace the silence within your thoughts and body now and just stretch. Bring your right leg up to three-legged dog and hold. Bend your knee and move into high plank. Realign your body, stabilize your legs, lengthen again through your left heel and quadricep. Balance yourself equally on both legs. Inhale and lift your upper body, arms to the sky for warrior one. Find balance and mindfulness for this warrior sequence. Find the power in your legs to control the posture. This is a foundational pose in yoga that stretches your front body and is intended to help you focus, stabilize, and decompress. Keep breathing, stretching through your hips and core. Slowly move into warrior two now. Right foot pointing out, Left foot pointing forward. 
Exhale and embrace the power of your body in this position. We'll transition into reverse warrior, straightening the right leg and flowing back into side angle pose. Let's continue the flow, tightening the core, pushing through the legs, finding calmness in the breath, letting this flow open up your body. Take this openness to an extended side angle pose, focusing still on deep breaths. While you hold this pose, try clearing out your mind, relax your forehead, eyebrows, your cheeks, rest your mouth, relax your neck and shoulders. Take a deep inhale and come into a bind. Clasping your hands at your lower back, opening up your chest, opening through your deltoids, quieting your thoughts. Closing your eyes, taking in as much fresh air as you can through your lungs and into your blood feeling your heart pumping, working for you, trying to relax in this pose, relaxing not only your body, but your mind. Come out of your bind and back into extended side angle, hold, lengthen your right leg and come into warrior two on the other side. Find your control. Align your legs and hips. Return into your reverse warrior flow, straightening your left leg as you reach back. Stretch your side body as you come down into side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale into side angle. Use the strength in your core to help control the flow. Come into extended side angle. Keeping the power in your legs. Stretching through the hip. If you're having any hip or knee pain, lessen your range of motion. You can prop your elbow into your left knee to help support your legs and joints if you need to. Imagine your body is a straight line from the ankle to the top of your head. Breathe in and wrap your arms to the back of your body for your bind. Slowly exhale. Keep your chest forward. Close your eyes if you can. Feel the energy from the earth radiate through your feet and circulate through your legs, into your hips and abdomen, up your chest and around your shoulders, down your spine. Feel this energy in loving silence and appreciation. Inhale, come out of your bind and into extended side angle. Lengthen your left leg Take a couple deep breaths. Recenter your body. Refocus your thoughts. Slowly lift your upper body.
bend your left knee into warrior two and flow slowly into warrior one pose. Opening through the hips and heart center, feel that energy again flowing from your toes all the way to your fingertips. Relaxing your face, rolling your shoulders back away from your ears. Embrace the power of this pose. It's called warrior for a reason. Bring your hands down to the mat. Inhale. Moving your left leg back into plank. Exhale. Take another deep breath, filling your lungs and chaturanga to the mat into cobra. Arms and legs strong. Give a slight bend in your elbows to protect your wrists. Push your hips back into down dog. And walk your dog. Inhale, left leg rises into three legged dog. Bend your knee and bring your leg to the mat for pigeon pose. Inhale, slightly bend backward, lifting your chest, face to the sky, slow exhale. Bring your attention back to your body. Bring your right arm around to grab onto the right ankle, pressing hips to the mat. Pull your foot towards you to give your quadricep and psoas muscle a deep stretch. There are many variations for this pose. If you have a yoga block, you could place it under your right hip to keep from overextending the psoas. Also, if you need a deeper stretch, placing a block under your right knee would give you that little bit extra. If you need upper body support, placing a block under your left hand would be beneficial. Release your ankle and gently bring your upper body to rest over your left leg. Again, use a yoga block under your arms if this pose is uncomfortable. These poses can cause a lot of emotions to be stirred up in your body as we hold so much stress and anxiety in our muscles and joints. If you feel these emotions, don't hold them back. Try and release them. Let them take over for a moment. It's okay to cry or laugh this practice is for you to provide you with the tools you need to feel more at ease in your day. So just let it out. It's okay to let it go. Lift yourself up now. Come to the center of your mat. Press the soles of your feet together, knees pointing out.
grabbing your toes or ankles, and bringing your forehead to the mat. This pose has infinite benefits for back and hip pain, relieving abdominal discomfort and even helping to stimulate your digestive tract. Bring your body back up. Extend your left leg and move into pigeon on the other side. Control your breathing. Bring your thoughts back to present, back to your body. Listen to what it's telling you. Don't ignore any pain or pressure. This posture is meant to relieve your pain, not cause it. So continue to be gentle and loving. We're caring for our joints so they can serve us through the day. Bring your left arm to grab your left ankle, pressing your heel to the glutes, stretching the hip flexor and quad. Zone in on these parts of your body. Make sure you're not pressing too hard, too fast. Be patient. Let your body go at its own pace and quiet your mind. Release your leg and slowly bring your chest to rest atop your right knee. Give yourself a break now. Pushing out any negative waves you're feeling, opening your mind to positive self-love and happiness. The sun is rising and shining on you, giving you another day giving you the opportunity to make what you want of this day. By releasing the negativity, you're leaving room in your body for all the good that can be felt today. Inhale, lift, exhale, slight bend backwards. And move into Baddha Konasana. Knees pointing out, press the soles of your feet together. Bring your forehead to the mat. Press your knees down with your elbows. Lengthen through your spine. 
control your breathing, control your thoughts, bring everything back to present. Lift up, take a deep breath in, move your right leg over your left, stacking your knees on top of each other. Lift your arms, take a deep breath and bring your upper body to rest over your knees. Stretching your arms as far as you can forward. Extending through the shoulders, elbows, through your wrists and your fingers. Still resting your chest, bring your arms around to the back of your body. Interlace your fingers and inhale as you lift your arms to the sky. This is a great chest opener pose and feels really good in your shoulders and your pectoral muscles. Lift your chest back up now, keeping your shoulders relaxed and your back strong and switching your legs to stretch the other side. Left leg over right. Lifting your chest and arms reaching towards the sky and slowly coming down while you exhale resting atop your knees. Breathing gently. Moving your arms to the back of your body, interlacing your fingers, and again, stretching your arms up overhead. Feeling that deep stretch in your shoulders. Letting out all the tension in your upper body. Lift up your upper body, look to the sky. Reach your arms behind you. Release your hands. Cross your legs like you normally would. We're just gonna do a few more small stretches for our side body. I want you to bend to the left and then bring it to the right. We're just gonna do this a few times. Opening up your rib cage, opening up your chest. Now reach your arms behind you. You can grab onto the back of your mat, whatever's comfortable. We're going to do a couple of neck stretches here. Roll your head to the right shoulder, roll back down chin to chest, and then slowly roll it to the left. Repeating this back to the right, Rolling back to the left. Head center. 
chin to chest, head back, look up to the sky, back down, chin to chest, very slowly, head back up, looking towards the sky. We're going to take a deep inhale, arms up, taking in all the oxygen, all the positivity that we have just worked so hard to gain. Another deep breath in. You're going to put that positivity in between your hands as you bring them to prayer and then to your third eye chakra. Focus your thoughts. Acknowledge what your body is needing from you. Whether it be rest, energy, happiness, show attention to those needs. Satisfy those needs through practice and patience. Enjoy sitting with yourself for a few moments now. Imagine letting all your fears and worries dissolve. Free yourself from the weight of others' expectations or your own expectations of yourself. Don't let the pressure overpower your spirit. Stay focused on you, on your goals, and reaching for the stars. Continue your yoga practice for further guidance into meditation through movement, finding tranquility in your thoughts, and releasing stress from your life. Thank you for joining me for this sunrise yoga session to open our bodies and our minds to get ready for this day. I appreciate you so much, and I appreciate that you took this time for yourself. Until next time, have a beautiful day.